What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to tell the difference between real and fake AirPods Max. So just to start off, there are some major differences you can tell looking at it right away. When looking at fake AirPods Max, you can see the mesh comes right up by the headband. However, with real AirPods Max, you can see that the mesh actually comes down a little from the headband to provide a little more support. Another way to see whether they're real or not is simply just how they fit in the case. If you're looking at fake AirPods Max, you can see in the case, it's kind of, the ear cups are kind of smushed and there's actually room in the bottom where it doesn't fit correctly. However, with real AirPods Max, when you look at the ear cups, you can see that they fit nicely and easily while looking at the bottom, everything fits well too. Now, once we've actually removed the headphones from the cases, there's another big difference you can tell. Simply just handling them. When you're holding the fake ones, they should be very flimsy and nothing on it should be very tight. However, when you're using the real AirPods Max, everything on it should feel just really high quality and everything should be tight and not very shaky. Next, you can see with this ear cup, that is the fake AirPods Max. You have the letter, which is skinnier and longer. While with the real AirPods Max, the letter is a little fatter and shorter. Another big difference is if you look, another big difference is with the digital crown. If you can see it right there, these are the fake ones and you can see it's kind of plasticky. And when you actually try to turn it, it's very rough and it doesn't feel smooth and it doesn't look sleek. However, with the real AirPods Max, you can see it's very sleek. When you move it, it moves very easily, it rolls. Another easy way is when the AirPods Max are on, the light turns green. However, with fake AirPods Max, in order to turn them on, you hold down this button, and then you should see a blue light. That light means that they are fake because the real AirPods Max have a green light. And second of all, real AirPods Max don't use this button to turn on or off. Instead, they simply turn off when you, they're twisted like this and turn back on when they're twisted like this. Another way to tell if they're real or not is looking at the fake ones you can see right here where the two pieces of plastic connect. And if you look at the bottom, you can see an oversized charging port and there's a piece missing that is on the actual AirPods Max. Looking at the actual AirPods Max on the bottom, everything is very sleek. And you have this little bar here that is not on the fake ones. And the charging port is not oversized. With real AirPods Max, there's no glue and you cannot see where either of the magnets are. Additionally, looking at the back of the fake AirPods Max case, you can see it's very loose. It doesn't fit very well, but with the real one, everything fits well. It looks nice and is tight. There are other ways to tell the difference between fake and real AirPods Maxes, but those require testing them. And an easy way to really tell whether they're fake or not is if the noise canceling works. If the noise canceling does not work, they're definitely fake. However, if the noise canceling works, then they're probably real. Additionally, just the weight difference. Real AirPods Max are metal. They have a very sleek shine to them. While with the fake ones are plastic and you can see the plastic. That about sums it up. If this video has helped you in any way, hit the like button. If you enjoy what you've seen on my channel, subscribe. And in my next video, I'll be mountain biking while interviewing people about their lives.